Right, greetings everybody. Welcome to the month of September, uh, potentially. Uh, you might be a little bit different. Also, lighting is a little weird because of my computer screen because I am doing this in the dark. It is nighttime, but uh, the month of September is starting off with a bang with two, count it, two new glove characters. And before we start this video, I would just like to update a few things. First off, there's no Woad of Calc data tonight, uh, not within the first few minutes. Woad of Calc doesn't work that fast uh, anymore. And as you can see, the friend units aren't up because for whatever reason, when we do the midnight ones, it takes them a little bit. I tried everything. I got rid of the other trial units and still didn't work. Um, so wish that was a quality of life upgrade for the future. But anyway, uh, we have two characters so let's get into it and then we will do some polls and see uh, if anything interesting pops out so let's start off with the really easy thing to look at the vision card cool artwork on it uh, usually is cool artwork 24 slash attack resistance like magic attack up by 28 and debuff weakening of 25 I'm not going to say that this VC is a disappointment, but as it being also just a quest VC, given that, you know, mostly a lot of stuff is just PvP and other quest rewards have been more interesting, such as damage limit up potentially or stuff like that, uh, this VC doesn't strike me as too monumental. At least at the time of recording, it might be the piece that puts together a really, really good team. It might be Sadali, Sephiroth, and Flame Sorcerer, who ends up being Tier 1. Don't know at this point. But I will say that I am not over the moon about this VC. The one thing that I think is really nice is 8% agility on the VC, which is a pretty nice little bonus for speed-related things, but okay. All right. Uh, talking about an interesting update, at least, you know... Considering some updates, we get one or two characters that usually can be quite different, and therefore it's hard to compare them. But here we have two 100 cost glove characters in different elements, and I think that is always um, going to be just more interesting because you can directly compare these two. They come out on the same day, they uh, will have different kits and different utilities, but I, I think this is really one of the most fun. Uh, so taking a look here, Flame Sorcerer, 59 speed, 3,719 HP, 342 magic. There isn't anything that particularly strand, stands out as super, super interesting. However, I think that 59 agility and 3 is pretty good. But let's just compare it because Angela came out the previous week. And while she's not a club user... It does give us an idea of at least where base stats are this time. So 3,690, 359, and 59 is kind of at least initially better, which is interesting that it's put that way um, for most of her, at least comparable. And then we also have Sadali, who is 3651 for HP, 351 magic attack, and 57 agility. Now, while we can't exactly compare apples to apples because vision cards, you know, do matter and access to certain vision cards and certain synergies and whatnot will make a team better than anything else. I do think it's quite interesting to see how the stats of the most recent characters kind of line up. Being that Angela last week wasn't terrible, but more on the side of pretty good seems to be where she has landed and that's not usually good enough to sink the amount of resources that you need into getting one of these characters providing you're just not buying them outright but yeah uh, we also have trust masteries to look at so sadali's accessory which is usually better than armor because well just everybody can equip it uh, defense and Spirit, Critical, and HP, which is quite interesting given uh, the actual... Oh, shoot. My, my notes 
Auto rotate is the devil. Okay. I'm, I'm back kind of thing. All right. So taking a look at the single target attack resistance up critical rate, critical damage up for two allies for four turns. So it's a four turn, which is always good. You're getting some resistance and some damage, but damage in a different way from the fact that you're getting more critical damage and a higher critical chance. So synergies wise, it's pretty good. It has some flexibility, two uses, 24 TP. It's not a speed trust mastery, but if you're trying to get incremental damage out of uh, potentially your attacks or secondary hits, this seems pretty good and a nice little trust mastery to get your hands on. All right. And then we also have this trust mastery, which does, I guess, the bare minimum for some stuff. 246 HP, 5 defense, 8 spirit, 1 agility, 1 agility. When somebody asks what's the 1 agility, this is the 1 agility of them all. All right, so what does this do? Well, it makes you less likely to be targeted and grants you a human killer effect during magic attacks. This trust mastery is also pretty good. I mean, it is effectively just extra damage on a trust mastery. You can use it twice, which is always nice. But the hate down effect, that could be quite interesting to give different units and more often offensive units. I, I wonder if this is something that makes Angela just better. That's pretty presumptuous, but I, I am curious about exactly how that will work. So before the end of the video, we'll of course double check just to make sure that nothing's gone up in the meantime, but let's warm up with some just basic polls. Uh, mo monthly luck in August, not super great. Uh, we'll see what September is looking like. And starting off a base one, even a free UR off of a base one, I won't complain about that. That is a pretty decent start, even if it is a year one VC. We're open for newer VCs. I've been missing some of those. All right, I'm already into a silver book on the basic tickets. Okay, okay. Not gonna reroll. Okay, all right. Fine, 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 fine. Uh, looking pretty bare minimum, but we'll see. And so, like, while we're doing polls, because nothing, I don't think anything too terribly interesting is gonna come out of this. Um, I, I, I do have to say that. Uh, with the announcement of FFB closing on the global side, that might be the same a similar situation for what Wotiv is facing. Not to really be doom and gloomy, but I do think if there was a side that is going to close first, it's probably not the JP side. It'll probably be the global. The one thing I would say that Wotiv has going is that they've essentially cut all the costs. They've trimmed all the fat out of potentially anything that could, you know, heal Votive off sooner on the global side. Of course, haven't heard any rumors, haven't heard any whispers or anything like that. That was apparently a thing before FFB went belly up was that there was chatter and whatnot about this, that, and the other thing that it was going to shut down. So, all right, strong start, not maybe the strongest continue. No, I'd, I'd say, you know, you go in for a new month and you get five in and five out that look like that. Not super great, but uh, we got some URs here. And this is also just giving me a little bit of time. I don't particularly want to be up until 3 a.m. anymore uh, doing character reviews. I can do that in the morning after some other people have thrown some opinions out there and I can, you know, just get an idea. It's a newer VC, still maxed out already, so nothing particularly this month that's really scratching some itch for me. And interestingly, like giving a perspective is kind of hard since we haven't seen their entire kits. And I have a feeling that Sadali will be generally better just because, yeah, Sadali 
The bet on votive characters being better usually always seems a safer pull. second. So once again, pretty early. Not super amazing. Let's just check and see. Now before, now this is a new superstition for me. Uh, it's not like a superstition for anybody else, I think. But basically when I'm doing polls now, I like to go into the shop and get the shards first, just because I feel like I, I don't like seeing the, the new thing when you do polls, when it's like, congratulations, you got something new, and you got new shards, and I'm like, that's not what I want to get excited about game. If I want to see new on something, I want to be something else, and maybe I'm inviting a little bit of bad karma or whatnot, but still, I think it's pretty accurate. To the actual situation. So we got a free 10 pull, which is pretty cool. Thanks a lot, game. And it is on the Sadali banner. We will get a couple of tickets for this guy later, but let's uh let's do some more pulls. Also, like super silly superstition is uh, like I always feel like the beginning of the month is like an indication how the rest of the month will go like if you have a good first pull on a like first first of the month character that's usually a good sign for the rest of the month it can be totally wrong but that's just how it is and nothing out of free okay all right well is what it is that does put us at the very least 20 percent towards Angelia, you are. Maybe we should be doing pulls there, but for now, as always. So we're going to do one pull on each of these banners and see what happens. And I think I'll do the Flame Sorcerer first. Had no luck on any of these um, Trial of Mana banners, but who knows? I play, I do own this game, so I feel like I'm entitled to at least a gold book on this pull. No. Still could be a gold book. Technically. All right, well, all right, all right, well. A couple of yellows. Uh, it's not complete depression. But it's getting there. There is a chance. There's no chance. <laughs> All right, wrong fire 100 cost character. And this is where my luck has been, feels like for the last little while, just stuck in year one, year two. And then someone's gonna chime in, actually I was year three and I'm just like, doesn't matter. All right, we'll try the other one and see what happens. Well, that looks depressing. Yep. All right, a little bit depressing, but it is what it is. Gotcha games rates never really that good, right? I feel like I already got lucky in a different game earlier today. Enough said about that. But yeah, um, taking taking a look at these two characters, unfortunately, didn't quite work out tonight. Tomorrow morning, I will do videos about as quick as I can, unless there's why we do all the pulls. So let's take a closer look at each of these characters. Now, we're not going to review all of their abilities because there's just not a ton, enough time this night but 
let's take a look. So a comparable mage, I guess. would be sorry i had to uh work on something on the computer there for a second would be this uh given the vision cards and everything just to see what the difference looks like uh here 9000 hp 1400 magic we take a look at sadali sadali's pumping out quite a bit more than that and interestingly one of if not i guess you are mont would be the benchmark for speed Pretty comparable in terms of speed. Maybe not a character that you necessarily want going up first. Accuracy is okay. Defense and spirit seem good. Heck of a lot of AoE resistance on this guy. All things considered. Just taking a look at Mont again. Yeah. Lot. Lot, lot, lot. Where is all of that coming from? So we got magic attack as well as some AoE resistance and magic human killer on his weapon. Um, we have older vision cards too, so there's going to be a new vision card for gloves next week that could be the better one. Uh, taking a look at this counter ability, wow. Because again, not, don't want to take a look all at his kit, we'll do that later. Chance to counter attack when damage from slash or magic attacks, that's insane the range on that counter. That is one of the best ranges I've seen in a while. HP up as well as all right that kanji is just healing power too so that makes his healing generally better and then we got this one which is probably the money maker all the tribute resistance resistance to penetration rate of aoe attacks resistance to aoe attacks increase ct small when damage is taken 40 percent or more with maximum hp two times Grant an effect of reducing magic damage taken if the number of actions is a multiple of three. So quite an interesting ability there. Taking just quick peek into subs, see some A o or AP restoration on some AoE attacks, and looks like a four turn magic damage skill as well. Interesting and really really curious we've seen this ability this is the continuous ability with the secondary heal but this is the one i'm particularly curious about is his job level 25 which is usually pretty big after removing re-raise effect from target within range remove all magic uh or magic damage extra large remove magic buffs reduces buff rate for three turn and chance of making it harder for a taxed hit. So accuracy down, not really also interested in curse resistance of 50%, darkness resistance of 50, and don't move of 35. Uh, might be a little bit of uh, something extra from one of the espers, but also elemental resistance of 12% across the board and magic and slash resistance so curious all of that but we also have a second character so let's jump in and over to our fire element which fire well we're just going to take a look at soul 1772 with 12k hp and 100 speed versus our new guy at 104 12k hp this is of course without runes and 1652 magic, which is, I'd say, pretty good and comparable over the two. We also have the newer, a uh, newer Esper on this guy as well. And we're looking at the new vision card potentially making difference. And interestingly, I guess we have to amend something, which is his piece of equipment is a accessory, which also could work for Sadali potentially 25 uh, percent magic boost off of this as well as magic attack up by 20 healing power up by 15 and when hp is over 70 percent 
uh, I get, I believe that is human resistance. Yes, which is quite interesting. Interesting that he's running a just a glove like this. Seeing that, like, normally you kind of expect them to have this. And I thought that they had announced that it was a glove. They must have gotten it mixed up that it was just a glove, but curious to see how that will work. 25 in terms of spirit, 5 for defense, 18. A lot of single target resistance with very little AoE resistance, so almost the inverse of Sadali. And if we take a look at resistances here, lots of ice, nothing very special. But higher type resistances, specifically to slash and magic, with a little bit of curse resistance in thrown in there well, which is pretty interesting. Taking a look at what else we got, we have a counter here. Chance to avoid physical attack, so not reflex, but not terrible either. Support skills, really quick to take a peek through here. Reduce ability activation time and reduces damage taken the wider the attack. And our other skill... I can already see magic up as well as mental penetration with AOE resistance penetration rate too. So baked in there, very similar to Sadali. Taking a look at subs, a couple of abilities, don't really want to spend too, too much time, but we will note this is a light element skill that is dealing damage and does have a chance of confusion on this skill, whereas this skill right here uh, dark damage two targets within range, depending on magical power, has a chance of making attacks harder to hit, so it looks like darkness effect on that. And again, really just want to look at their job level 25 abilities before ending this video. So this one sure hit after destroying magical barrier that reduces magical damage, deals damage large to targets within range, hits the targets and absorbs a portion of the damage dealt. Pretty good range on it too, and an AoE attack. So it's curious, taking a look at these two characters in different elements, but with the same job type, and also kind of just seeing their new equipment and everything here. I have a feeling that both of these characters could be quite strong. If I had to guess, I'm probably giving the edge to Sadali right now because he honestly looks kind of crazy with some of the stuff that he has just in terms of support. And his counter ability seems particularly nice. I don't know if it's quite good enough to get there. But this is a lot in a single ability. And then you also have just elemental resistance, which will make him better into a considerable amount of matchups. Of course, we do have other abilities here, which we know a little bit about, such as debuff weakening and whatnot. But taking a deeper dive into that later is probably, you know, for the best before my brain turns too much. Either way, quite curious to see how the rest of their kits turn out. Stay tuned, and we will be back tomorrow with full depth hit, evaluation, and more. So, take care. See you later.